good afternoon. This is Doreen Meruri and my colleague here is Asia Abdulmanaf. We have our project entitled Preparing a Nutritious Tomato Sauce. On coming to our aim of our project, to make a nutritious tomato sauce with, be, uh, with various therapeutic potential, hypothesis of the project, to make a cheaper tomato sauce with better nutrition value and various therapeutic potential. On coming to our research question, can a cheaper tomato sauce with better nutrition value and various therapeutic potential be made locally? On coming to our acknowledgement, we thank the Almighty God for enabling us to obtain wisdom which gave rise to our project. Sincere appreciation goes to our patron, Mr. Omari H. H. Godi, for guidance on, on knowledge concerning bioedible spicy plants and also the assistance he gave us on the innovative food packing clean bench. Atmos appreciation goes to our principal for funding our project. On to our abstract. You've been eyeing gorgeous tomatoes at the market and wondering what may it take to transform them into just of delicious red sauce. Wonder no more. Every tomato that tastes good to you can make a good tomato sauce. Our tomato sauce is a basic one because it has only tomatoes and some, some lemon juice to bump up the acidity levels. Background information. We have two types of tomatoes, the fresh market and the processing varieties. Example of fresh market. We have the bee eater, hot set and the primable. And on coming to the processing varieties, we have the Kenya Beauty and the Saints. On to our literature review, we have the spices that we've used, the important chemicals and the mineral, minerals present, and the uses of the compounds and minerals. The spice number one is the cumin seed. Cumin seed has iron. Iron is an important component of hemoglobin in the blood. We also has, have vitamin C, which is a protective food against cold, fevers, and sore throats. Next, we move on to coriander, which has essential oils like linoleic acid and oleic acid, which is, is, is useful in reducing the cholesterol levels in the blood. We move, we move on to cinnamon, which has cinnamaldehyde. Cinnamaldehyde maintains good, level, good levels of, of sugar in the blood. We move on to ginger, which has both six ginger roll and six shagol. Which are, you, which are treatment against asthma and also treats dementia. Moving on, we have garlic. Garlic has manganese, which helps in proper functioning of many enzymes. It also has selenium. Selenium is a protective food against illnesses like depression. Lastly, we have the cardamom. Cardamom has carbohydrates, which is an energy-giving food. We also have, have vitamin A and vitamin C, which help in proper vision, and it's a protected food, respectively. Ingredients for making a thousand grams or equivalent to equivalent to one liter tomato sauce. We measured the ingredients, such as for five grams, we measured the the cardamom, cinnamon, coriander, and the cumin seed. For 100 grams, we measured the tomato sauce and the tomatoes and the cassava. For two grams, we measured the sodium benzoate and the food color. And the ten, for 10 grams, we measured the onions. On coming to the procedure for preparing the tomato sauce, you wash and boil the whole tomato fruit until tender. You sterilize your hands using 70% of ethanol. Using the sterilized knife, you cut the tomatoes into two halves. You boil the spices plus the onions together until fluffy. You use the extract of to, to match the tender tomatoes, you boil the 100 grams cassava for 30 minutes, stir for 10 minutes, and let it simmer for 10 minutes. You introduce the tomato extract into the starch, adding the caramel, and you stir until uniform. And then you add this permitted food color. You let it simmer, and then uh, you let it simmer. You let it simmer. You let it simmer for five minutes and, and take it to a clean bench. You then uh, sterilize a container and a lid to can. On coming to the procedure for the biosafety packing of the tomato sauce, we have the innovative food packing clean bench, we have, which has three parts: the sliding door, the curved upper surface, and the flow. You sterilize the uh, the flow using 10% of sodium hypochlorite bleach and wipe with a clean hand towel. You sterilize the upper part with 70% of ethanol. You sterilize the upper part with 70% of ethanol. You put on gloves and sterilize your hand using 70% of ethanol and sterilize any item entering the food packing clean bench. You light the Bunsen burner, you light the Bunsen burner and disinfect the containers by heating it by hitting them in a pan of a generator steam. Such as you take a sulfuria, fill in with fill it with water and take the spoons or forks made of steel. 
the water level should be down the spoons and then you take the containers wrap them in a in aluminium foil paper and then you put them on heat that is how generator steam is done next we move on to the procedure for testing the ph levels you take one milliliter of the tomato sauce that we we have made and the one that is currently in the market put them in a container then use the indicator paper use the indicator paper to to look at the acidity levels we can see that the commercial the commercial tomato sauce have high levels of acidity because from our experiment we saw that they were at three and and our tomato sauce is literally above that meaning the one in the market has high levels of high acidity and that can cause stomach ulcers results we used uh, 500 grams we used 70 shillings to make a 500 grams and we also innovated a food packing clean bench for those who pack their food locally uh, there are already tomato sauce existing in the market which costs roughly up to 118 shillings which weigh 400 grams. In the list above we see ours to be cheap because it costs 70 shillings for 500 grams. On to the recommendation. Our tomato sauce we use 70 shillings to get 500 grams but compared to other products who we use roughly 93 shillings to get 400 grams which indicates that our tomato sauce is cheaper comparing our tomato sauce with tomato sauce like peptang which has ingredients like vinegar salt sugar tomato citric acid spices stabilizers and is also preserved with sodium benzoate we recommend the use of our tomato sauce because it has additional ingredients and that is cassava starch which help which helps neutralize the acid present in the tomato sauce we also recommend the use of our food packing clean bench for those packing food locally. We move on to the limitation. The, while packing the tomato sauce, there was no steady flow of clean air and, that's, and that sh sh tells us that the tomato sauce may not 100% be prevented from ca contamination. Next, the, co the companies that are country currently in the market have made a name so our product will face stiff competition before gaining the momentum on to the conclusion the cooked starch as a base allows having good medium to hold the tomato sauce since balanced diet is important to our for our health foodstuffs like french fries are eaten with proteins like sausage then tomato sauce is added this may lead to hyper hyperacidity that is what i call dyspepsia which may may also lead to smoke to stomach ulcers due to acidity with tomato sauce as with sorry with cassava as the base it helps neutralize the acid cassava plant ha does well in the coastal regions unfortunately it has been despised but it can be a, a potential crop with time and these are, are the references of our work We will also be thankful for anyone willing to sponsor our project and take it to the caves and to the community at large.